Hi, this is Bill Wolf, and welcome to my podcast. I'm here with Roy Cheeseman. Roy runs our shop here at Eastern Controls. He joined us uh, January of this year. Welcome, Roy. Thank you. So, wanted to show just visually something right now, which is we had a, one of my customers last week said, "Hey, I've got three different manufacturers and basically four position requirements." So we've got a three-way valve here, a rack and pinion actuator there that goes on a rotary product, a globe style control valve there with a different manufacturer. So there's your three different manufacturers. And then this manufacturer, the corner is the same as this one, and it's another three-way valve. So we needed to bring the valves into the shop because we had to do some modifications on the brackets for the positioners. But again, the messaging here is that with Mason Ewan, you've got one style positioner that's going to fit every one of these valves. This is a little bit of an outlier, so this could be a double acting positioner. Again, from a standpoint of inventory and carrying costs, if you're the customer, you're looking at literally now one manufacturer, a single acting and double acting positioners in inventory. And time to task for your tech is very small because your techs only have to learn one positioner, one, one way to configure, one way to tune. Speaking of configuring and tuning, we'll do that in a little bit. But before we leave the screen here, I wanted to zoom in on Roy a little bit, just talk about one of the modifications we had to do with the bracket. And by the way, we're maskless this close, we're more than six feet, so we're okay. So and I wanted to be able to project. But Roy and uh, Justin, could you zoom in on Roy? And we're just gonna talk about one of the modifications we did. Go ahead, Roy. Okay. Well, each, each valve, each thing you order, we'll come with a kit. And what we do is we'll take that kit and modify it to fit whatever valve that we have in the shop. In this case, this bracket, we had to make some modifications to the bracket itself so that it would be able to fit and not get in the way of the rising step. Um, each kit comes with a connection bracket, but for this customer, we could not use it. We actually had to use the existing bracket to that connects the actuator to the valve body. Uh, and we just had to go out and buy a, since it was metric, a metric through stud. So as you can see, everything else would come in the bracket with the kit. We just had to, you know, add the stud to it and make the modification to the bracket to get it to fit onto this particular valve. Nice. All right, so what's that mean? That means that for the customer, we did a site survey, they have over 100 control valves in the plant. So now what we're going to do is identify these particular valves and say, these valves are going to need these brackets. Boom. So once that baseline's done, that baseline's done. Because that's really the challenge. The challenge is always going to be marrying up the position to the very manufacturer's control valves with the bracket. And once we get that down, we're all set. And most times our universal bracket fits, but in these cases, in, this, in, in the case of these valves, we need some modifications. We're going to fade out right now. We're going to come back and we're going to show you how we run the stops and do tuning with our dangerous answer SMT70 and show you really how easy these things are to set up. We'll be right back. Yeah. We're back here with Roy Cheeseman. We're focusing on our SMT70 to show the screen. We have our uh, we have our signal and our air to our valve and our positioner. And Roy's going to run the stops. So Roy, what are the stops again? It's going to find the fully closed and the fully opening of this valve. Excellent. Let's do it. Right. This is telling you you're going to lose control. Just give me a warning. This is telling you that it's going to move. Fully closed. 100% open. That is it, saying you're complete. Nice. So usually what we would do next is that we would go back to, we would keep on setup. Go to the tuning. Click the auto tune. It's going to tell us the same, it's going to lose control. It wants to know what the pressure should be, what aggressive as it closes, zero. And the pressure going in is 30 PSI. Now it's tuning. So again, whereas we're running through the tuning, um, 
Each of the digital positioners, SBI 2 APs, they have a built-in algorithm. And that built-in algorithm allows the positioner to tune for each individual valve. Because as you know, every valve is different. So essentially, this unit or this positioner is now tuning itself to this valve, the right. characteristics of that valve. Right. So we're going to run through the tuning. It's going to take a minute or two. And as we do that, when we're done tuning, what happens in the shop? We do uh, we do a report, correct? Where when we're finished, and that report is like a, a baseline of, of the valve. So if it's a new valve, it's a certain baseline because it's new. And then if it's a repaired valve, you do certain things as well. So why don't you just speak to that just at a high level, uh, what, what some of the things are in that report, Roy? Okay. Most of the, everything we run on valve, either service valve or new production valve, we would generate a couple of reports. One would be this generates a valve report as far as the tuning, uh, the steps. We, we add that to this software called Valve Keep. Um, we, we go through our testing procedures, which we also add to Valve Keep. These are all pieces that we put together in a software called Valve Keep that it will allow us to capture anything for the customer down the road, all they would have to do is give us a serial number and we can produce the valve tool. Excellent. So they get that serial number, they call us in two months or 20 months or 20 years, and we have that record. We can talk about how that valve was built. We can also talk about how that valve was, the performance is left to shop. And if it's 20 months or 20 years down the road, they can say, well, I'd like to compare how it's operating and performing now than how it worked when it left the shop. Correct. Bingo. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. All right, we inventory these positioners uh, and uh, we're in good shape there uh, and we're finished our tuning. So Roy, thanks very much for uh, running that tuning for us and for our customers on this podcast. I'm gonna walk to the front right now. Zoom out, there we go. All right, I'm gonna wrap our podcast up today. I wanna to thank Roy Cheeseman for joining me today. Uh, and the man behind the camera is Justin Lotan. Uh, look for a future podcast with Justin Lotan. He's new with Eastern Controls. He'll be joining me on a future podcast. Folks, this is an awesome positioner. We inventory him. This is what we do. Give us a call. Let's talk about a product demo. Uh, let's get you set up. Thanks again for joining us today.